If you've been streaming porn on RedTube, you might have gotten a letter from a law firm saying that you owe the company 250 euros, especially if you're living in Germany. As many as 1,000 RedTube users have received this notification from a specific law firm saying that they have violated copyright laws. Now, this is really interesting because there has been numerous cases of these so-called copyright trolls that will catch you if you are sharing copyrighted porn. In fact, uh, Torrent Freak says the following, often referred to as copyright trolls, these companies place themselves in file sharing networks and masquerade as regular users, but instead they're collecting evidence of infringement. This evidence is then used to obtain the identities of alleged file sharers in order to obtain cash settlements from them. So this is not unheard of. This has been happening for a little while now and it's problematic, but there's a huge difference between file sharing and what you experience when you are on RedTube. RedTube is much like YouTube where you stream porn content. Yeah, so right. the question is, how is it that this law firm and these porn companies have obtained the IP addresses of these users? Now, one theory is that uh, RedTube has handed this information over to the law firm, uh, especially if they got a court order. It wouldn't be difficult to do so, but RedTube denies that. They say the following, our security measures and user privacy has always been a top priority for RedTube. They continue. RedTube pursues stringent uh, privacy requirements and maintains the highest industry standards of privacy protection to secure not only the assets and properties, but to provide comprehensive protection of their customers' data when visiting RedTube-owned site. A uh, RedTube-owned site. They said protect their assets. <laughs> Leave it to Jank. Leave it to Jank. Well, right. apparently they didn't protect their assets very well. Yeah. Uh, so this could be devastating for RedTube because, I don't know if you know this, but it turns out there's a lot of porn sites. And if you think that uh, so you might be getting a $250 fine because you go to RedTube, oof, that's disastrous for them. The flip side is, it's a giant ad for RedTube. Not everybody knew that there was porn on RedTube. I mean, it's news to me. There's porn on the internet? And, and, and it's this thing called RedTube, apparently. Huh, mm -hmm. interesting, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, so it could go either way, but look, this is a disaster for everybody involved. Absolutely, even if you're not interested in, in porn, which I don't believe that that's the case. Um, everyone's <laughs> interested in porn. Um, what, what ends up happening is, like, if you are streaming copyrighted material on YouTube, does that mean that companies, like movie production companies, can they come after you? Can they get a law firm to come after you and say, hey, you, you streamed copyrighted material, and have you really broken any laws in that case? No, no, it's madness. Think about this, right? It's not the people that are taking the movie and putting it on YouTube. You can go after those guys, and that makes all the sense in the world, right? It's the guy watching it. They can come in, they're coming to your house. They're coming to your house, right? And they're coming to your house for the porn that you watched. It's devastating. So let's talk about that for a second, okay? Indeed. If a law firm comes to you and says, you owe us 250 euros, right? And I keep saying euros because this is really happening in Germany. You owe us this money, pay up. Are you really gonna, are you really gonna fight that in court? You're really gonna fight that in court? You're yeah. gonna go to court and you're gonna be like, look, I was watching the girls with the double donger and I really enjoyed it, but I don't think that I'm breaking any copyright laws here. You're not gonna do that. So it, there's a, a level of intimidation here as well. Yeah, that's and that's part of the reason they're probably doing it. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people just, like Anna said, just pay it right away and get it the hell out. And then yeah. even if only 10% did that, you probably connect, collect a, a decent amount of cash, which is a damn shame. Look, obviously the correct way to go is here, it wasn't me. I don't know what you're talking about, man. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, it's hard to go up to your wife or whoever and be like, well, honey, um, and the titles, the titles could be devastating, right? Uh, yeah, I was watching, you know, Bust a Nut and Grandma's Butt, but, <laughs> okay, on the other hand, you know, it's not really quite fair because I didn't do the copyright violation. Yeah. I'm not sure your wife cares a lot about the copyright violation at that point. No, probably okay, not. Okay, or your case, parents, by the way, yeah. or whoever else happens to be living with you. Now, they got a little lucky in this case because they named the porn titles that, were, uh, that people were watching and I've never heard more boring porn titles I know, in my I'm life. I'm actually very surprised. Yeah, I wonder if they did it on purpose just to pick like safe titles. Because uh, it's Dream Trip, <laughs> the worst porn title ever. I actually okay. went on a dream trip when I was in high school. Oh, you did? We okay. called it the Dream Trip. It was like, okay. I don't even remember so where we went. That? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, Hot Stories, lame. 
Okay, Amanda's Secrets, Miriam's Adventures, and Glamour Showgirls. What is this like? Did they send the notices to like the seven women on Red Tube that were watching? You know, <laughs> you never know, Jenk. Those might be the most hardcore porns you've ever seen in your life. Don't judge a book by its cover or a porn by its title. Yeah, apparently, apparently. Uh, so, uh, and everything about this story, just because this comes out of Germany, sounds a little dirty. Uh, it, the German law firm that's doing this is U N C. Like a UNC, so what? Yeah, right? it's not. UNC. I know, but like Ireland is like UNC. I will give you copyright violation. Schlup and das, das ist Vitamin. You're like, okay, okay, I'll eat my cartofos a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the guy defending them, is, this is a good guy, is Wilder Bugel Solmica. I don't even know if you're pronouncing that correctly. But yeah, I get it. I get it. They have German names. It, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, this I'm, is no Geburtstag for anyone in German. I'm just a little upset that I didn't get any credit for my use of double donger, considering I just learned what a double donger is. Okay. On the show. On the on show. On the show. Okay. Recently. I didn't know. <laughs> okay. And then he told that, me. Yeah, that had nothing to do with the dream trip she went on earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yes, credit. I give you credit. Thank okay. you. All right. All right. I like okay. a little validation. <laughs> Absolutely. But guys, remember, if you get the notice from UNC. Wasn't me, wasn't me, wasn't me. <laughs>